Hey everybody, welcome to LogicalAnalyst.com where we show you the power of data and digital marketing. So today we are going to see how to track page views in Google Analytics with the help of Google Tag Manager. So this is a test property which I've made where we are trying to capture data. So and we have a Google Tag Manager account through which we are going to do the tracking. So starting with making the variables, it is very important to have a variable which goes into the tags. And this is the one variable which is going to be there in all the tags. We will call it as Google Analytics settings, where you define all the settings of the view or the Google Analytics property where you want to send data. And we then select a Google Analytics setting variable here. So if you can see this area, what we are going to do is we are going to go to the admin section in Google Analytics, go to the property settings, and this is the tracking ID for this property. We are going to copy this tracking ID from here and paste it in here, where it says we need to paste the tracking ID. So this is the most basic setup of Google Analytics settings variable. You can do all types of things and you know have one place for all your settings which goes into the tags such as if you want to capture any custom dimensions or content groupings or any type of e-commerce settings but for now we're just going to make the basic settings and save these changes now it's time that we create the basic page view tracking tag which will send our data to Google Analytics. So let's call it as GA all pages because this tag is going to be fired on all the pages as we, as it is expected that we track all the pages on the website in Google Analytics. And within the tag configuration, we are going to choose the Google Analytics universe, universal analytics tag. Here, we are going to these are the different types of track tracking types through uh, what we can capture in Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager. So for now, we are going to capture the page view tracking type and then assign the variable which we created in Google uh, like some time ago to this tag, which will tell the tag while the website loads, we, which will tell the tag that the data is to be sent in this property now it's time that we create trigger on which the page view tag will be fired this is a very basic trigger which is already built in in google tag manager it's called as the all pages trigger so if we assign this trigger to the tag google tag manager will make sure that all whenever a page is loaded it fires the tag now let's save the tag after we save, it is very important that we make we do all the testing before we publish the tag so that there is no stale data in our Google Analytics account. So you can see the preview mode. We've just started the preview mode. And now we are going to go on the website to check whether our code is working or not. So we're going to do all this testing on the same website on logicalanalyst.com so here you can see that the preview pane has been opened and these are all the settings within the page view where we've said we've told google tag manager to fire the fire the page view track it is firing it here let's see so as we all saw we did the settings it shows that the firing status has succeeded we have not overridden any of the settings of the tag. The track type is page view. And these are the Google Analytics settings, which we did through the variable Google Analytics settings, which is showing that the, the data has been, will be sent to this property. And this is the trigger, how it fired. So now that we've checked, all the things are working fine. We are all set to go on our website. Sorry to go on the Google Tag Manager account and submit the changes. So this is a pane where you can actually 
describe what the changes you made in the con container version so that you have a clarity when you made the changes and what were the changes so we are going to write basic page view implementation for google analytics and we can list it down here google analytics settings ga all pages tag this is the google analytics tag which we named it as google ga all pages and that's all we did in this version so we so these are the changes that is showing over here the google analytics settings and all pages and we will publish this so that the tags go into production and whenever someone comes on the website the page views will be tracked to, to so to see whether the page views have been tracked or not there is another way to check it we will refresh the page and then we will go to our google analytics property where we are trying to capture it and see it in the real time section whether we have received any hit or not and as we can see there is a hit from a desktop on the home page as we were on the home page so this gives us a confirmation that our tag is working properly and it will capture all the data in google analytics so that's it for now thank you for watching the video please like and subscribe the channel thank you